Does my anger scare you? Does my truth for knowing irritate you? Does the blackness of my skin make you feel uncomfortable because of the safety of the whiteness that you live in? Does the world comfort or protect, embrace or neglect? Are you seen as an asset or a threat? Do the police stop you or you or you or you? Do they demand to know where you're going? Do they treat you with respect or do they treat you with disdain? Do they handle you with dignity or do they revel in your absolute uncomfortability? Would you call them if you were in trouble or not bother because they're just not worth the trouble? Mm. Does my anger scare you? Does my truth annoy and irritate you that there are blacks dying with knees in their backs and handcuffs round their wrists? Windpipe restricted, breath cut off, lips turning blue, eyes bulging with fear and pain. Does it make you shift in your seat? The thought of crashing feet and fingers gnarled and desperate, trying frantically to get free. Or does it make you want to say, oh my gosh, you're so aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Does it not make you feel upset to think my people are not safe? And I mean, all it would have taken was a little bit of common sense for someone to say, calm down, for someone to remember this was someone's mother, brother, father, sister, for someone to take a deep breath, for someone to step back, for someone to say, stop. So yeah, does it make you feel shame? Because my people are dying in police custody and I've yet to hear a single officer going down and accidental asphyxiation the coroner always says. <laughs> so yeah, I'm meant to make you feel uncomfortable and I don't give a shit, I'm meant to make you feel bad, I'm meant to make you squirm, I'm meant to make you question, I'm meant to make you cry, I'm meant to make you ask why. Because I know, I know that if I was blonde haired and blue eyed, my story would be a lot, lot different. What about Joey Gardner? Killed July 1993 in front of her six-year-old son. They wrapped her up in body tape and placed her in a belt complete with straps and chains. They excessively restrained because they said she overstayed her welcome. So yes, they sent her back to Jamaica. They sent her back to Jamaica in a coffin. And how about Lasani Lewis? A student, black skinned, British born and bred, had a nervous breakdown, ends up in a mental hospital. Altercation takes place, the police are called, and the Grim Reapers faithful. And how about Cat Francois, 24 years old, gets punched in the face by a drunken random white guy, stops the police to help. Instead of helping her, they arrest her and almost succeed in suffocating her in the back of a police van. And yes, I'm not aiming. I know, blonde haired and blue eyed, that never would have happened to me. So yes, I'm meant to make you feel uncomfortable. Yes, I'm meant to make you squirm. Yes, I'm meant to make you question. Yes, I'm meant to make you cry. Yes, I'm meant to make you ask why, 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 why? Just like I did. Because how many more, 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 how many more? So yes, I'm meant to make you feel uncomfortable, I'm meant to make you cry, I'm meant to make you squirm, I'm meant to make you ask why, I'm meant to take you to task to be a voice for those who can never ask.